All righty, boys, here we go. It's your boy Zeke Pruitt in the booth here. And it's going down the national championship here. Season two, PFL Natty. We are here. Happy New Year's. Everybody, it's 2023 officially. And let's get this thing rolling, man. I mean, we've been waiting all year long for this game. This is a part three showdown. Part three Georgia showdown. These two teams have faced off twice already. So it's time to see who wants it all. We got these two teams coming from Georgia. The first time around, Collins lit these boys up 26 to 5 at home early in the season week five but newton returned the favor in just in the state championship game winning the state championship 47 to 29 so this is an overdue game this is the ultimate part three this is the ultimate rematch here as their fate collides here in the national championship in season two which will be crowning a new champ after collins hill took down chandler the defending champions and to start us off here we're going to get KC Robinson headed to Ole Miss next season this is his senior season he's coming in as the number one official this is officially the number one ranked quarterback in the class of 2024 is number five from Collins Hill so he's got a lot on his plate today trying to get himself a national championship before he heads off to play his collegiate ball and uh, we got a lot of talent out here today, guys. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. Let's get those likes up. It's a big day in the PFL. This is the championship, fellas. Let's get that activity up. Share that link. We are here. KC starting off under center. He's going to take his first throw. Oh, it's batted away by the smaller Jay Landry. There's that Jay Landry, number 10. I want you guys to pay attention to all the weapons on the field tonight because it's going to be a good show. We're in for a defensive showdown. JoJo Ekene. Deuce Willis in the backfield right now for this ball club. Sergio Moreno also lining up at tight end and Trey Marcus as a wide out along with Travis Irving. So a lot of weapons here for KC to work with. Hopefully they uh, get things going and change their playbook for the first time all season. This is the 12th week in the season, but 10 strong weeks of football as uh, Deuce is taken down. But 10 strong weeks of football and these guys didn't touch their playbook. They're coming with something a little bit different today uh, offensively as we check out Jay Landry there. A couple of guys, Zeke Moore, Kobe Lewis, Kyrie Sims, Davon Wendy's, and Dale Watt. So a very tough defensive unit. Top three defenses here. You got Collins, St. John, and Newton. Collins being one, Newton being three. So this is going to be a highly defensive matchup here on both for both teams so let's see who can which offense can figure it out here's KC in the shotgun taking a snap oh he's being pressured oh he, oh my goodness see there's that pressure Kyrie Sims draws him into Perkins Kyrie misses the tackle but he but he ultimately gets his uh gets KC you know a little uh rattled back there and Perkins is able to take him down what does my man uh DJ say set down <laughs> fourth and 17 and it's not going to be a good start for the Eagles oh man here we go boys first drive and we're seeing defensive powers here we're seeing defensive excellence on display for the Newton Rams they're coming they're hungry they said they want this rematch Collins feels like they're going to get this win it's been a split 1-1 Newton they, 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 they feel like they figured them out after they got that win they feel like Collins is light work here comes Cartier Wobe, gonna get a look at the junior quarterback here. Uh, what a game, man, he had last week. He's been actually playing very great in the play in the postseason. So the playoffs have been good to Cartier Wobe. He stepped his game up at the most crucial time in the season. He had a great state uh, championship game. He had an awesome uh, first round uh, for nationals and even in semis. Just played excellent, uh, able to mix it up on the ground. Just a nice dual threat quarterback. Can't wait to see what he does uh, his senior year. 
Can't wait to see what college he goes to. Really, really good uh, quarterback out here on the, floor, uh, on the field. But here he is. T. Hall in the backfield is going to go with their running back to start it off. He's trotting, toting the rock. Oh, my goodness, fighting for every inch out there. And he's headed to Ole Miss as well. Remember, we got a, you know, a few teammates here. As we uh, Let me break this down for you. The starting quarterback, Casey Robinson, for Collins Hill is headed to Ole Miss next season. He will be joined in that backfield by Precious Hall on uh, Newton and Deuce Willis on Collins Hill. So he he nailed he got two of the top three running backs in the nation going to Ole Miss with him in the in the backfield. How how do you think? Let me hear what y'all feel about that in the chat, man. How do you think that Ole Miss backfield is going to pan out with two of the best prolific running backs in uh, in high school football as Davon Wendy's converts on the catch here is going to get him down to the 27 and Newton already feeling comfortable offensively I don't know man this these guys are I feel like ever since the playoffs started these guys have turned a corner and they are not looking back you know remember this team did start off pretty hot I think they were about 3-0 4-0 or something like that can't really remember but they were they were pretty hot to start things off and then they kind of you know they kind of took a, a tumble a bit had to figure some things out in, in that mid section of the season but then they figured it out Towards the end of the year, coming down the stretch, the two, the two captains, Cartier, Precious Hall, really stepped their games up. Kyrie Sims helped out a lot. Dale Watt bringing the pain on defense. So this team is really starting to kick things up. As you see, another completion here for Cartier. Big time, big time arm lately in, 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 uh, in the playoffs for, for Cartier Wobe. Really driving this team down the field. Got them down on a 10 right now. Looks like they have Collins on their heels. I don't know, man. I, I, I talked to Collins before this game, and... They made a little scheme change and a little, I just, I wasn't a fan of it. But you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the commission, I'm for the people, I'm for the players. So whatever the players want, we're going to go for it. Now, when you get to the pros and you get coaches and you get to college and get coaches, then you got to get, you got to deal with the coaches game plan. But in high school, you got to do what you got to do. Here's Cartier in the shotgun on the 10, trying to make it happen. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Now we do know, oh, I see, I see Sebastian Como and, and that, was that Zay or Travis getting into it up top right corner? I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at that one soon. Again, Kobe Lewis, Precious Hall, Zeke Moore, Davon Wendy's, Kyrie Sims, Dogs. This is it, fellas. Last game of high school season two. Then we got two all-star games. We are going to see top-tier talent on display. One of the all-star games is going to consist of all classes. And then we're going to have a senior all-American game. So... Look out for those coming in uh, next week, coming in hot next week. Here's Cartier, fakes the handoff. He's looking, he's going to tuck it, running himself. He's great at this. He slides, smart man. I wanted to say, to touch on the fact that Collins, this is actually where they're very dangerous defensively. They play some of their best defense, as we see. Uh, Eric Lyle headlining that uh, middle linebacker position there, but then JoJo, Zay, Travis Princeton, just an excellent core here, but... They play some of their best straps, some of their best defense on the goal line, on in the red zone. You know, as you see, third and goal on the five. These guys were moving down the field easily, but just that e just that easy, the, the field tightened up a bit, and, and here come the dogs. So this is going to be a crucial down here. Let's see if Newton can start this championship off with seven. Here's Cartier. The ball's in his hands. Here he is letting it go. Whoa! Got it to Kyrie. Whoa, beta Kyrie. Number five is on the board. One of my favorite players in this league oh wait a minute okay I, I thought they were gonna I didn't really see the touchdown I, I got a little confused there <laughs> but we're gonna get six on the board for Kyrie Sims one of my favorite guys one of the most active guys in the league shout out to my boy a real football guy uh, yeah man this is this is gonna be interesting <laughs> oh my goodness Newton on the board first. They're going to strike first in the first quarter. 7-0. Georgia football is heating up, folks. Somebody said the offenses don't do well in this mod. I don't know. I think a certain QB told me that, but he sure did eat up the field just now. I don't know. <laughs> All righty, KC Robinson. Show me some play, boy. Don't go to Ole Miss with a L now, baby. Come on now. Ah, uh, it's heating up, y'all. Y'all know I gotta talk my stuff now. We got numbers on the board, baby. We got numbers on the board. Oh my goodness, who's in the chat? Kyrie in the chat. 
Waki in the chat. Prince in the chat. Nas, what's going down? What's going on? Who's that, Joe? Is that Joe Shiesty? AK-41? My boy Cartier in the building. We tuning in, officially tuned in to the CW Network. CW7. Kilo in the building. Khalil, what's good? My boy Ace, who that? That's, uh, that's uh, Austin Brady. What's going on, man? We in here. 19 strong. Make sure y'all hit those likes, man. Rico Rodriguez. What's going on? One of the high school season three guys. I've been seeing your name around. I can't wait to see you on the field, man. I can't wait to see a lot of a lot of new talent on the field. I'm low key finna be digging into some of the uh, apps tonight and kind of filtering, uh, you know, funneling in some guys into the into the Discord, some new guys. So I'm, I'm gonna be up tonight doing some things, man. But shout out to everybody in the building. Deuce Young checking in. But yeah, uh, my boy Akel, uh, no, not Akel, <laughs> but uh, I was talking about his brother, but I go. How do you say that? Is that is it Akel? Akil? We're going to have to talk about that one, Mr. Zhang. Not not that I don't like it, I just want to get the pronunciation on it right. But yeah, everybody's here, man. What up, Deuce? I see you in here, crossing here. Christian. Yes, sir. All right, now, Collins. Second and 12. Going to 23. Now that we got all of that out the way, we got all of our shout outs out the way. Let's jump into it. KC, shotgun, show me something. Taking the snap, looking. Number five, got rid of it. Nice dot over to Joe. Oh, Joe, Joe, Ekanay. He drops it and Dale Watt picks it up. Is he already down? That's the question. I feel like he was down. I feel like it was a snag. But oh my goodness, Joe, Joe, Ekanay. He gets hit. By Kyrie, is it Kyrie Sims? Kyrie making plays on both ends of the field, scoring touchdowns, forcing fumbles on seniors. Oh, but I think he's down. I don't know. I think he's down. Let me see. What are we talking about? Let me get the, the comment refs. Where's the comment refs? Oh my goodness. I don't know if he's down. He's definitely shook. All right, there's that booth review. Oof. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he could be down, but it's still a little spooky out there. He's dropping the ball. <laughs> you still got to be a little concerned. Oh, I don't know, guys. That's a close one. That's a close one. Turn. Yes, and it is overturned. Collins dodges an early bullet. JoJo, tighten up, gang. Tighten up there, young soldier. First and ten. Hey, hey, hey. At the end of the day, it was a good pickup. It was a nice pass. Nice first down. Down on the 36, just past the PFL National Championship logo. Here they go. First and ten. Eagles in the shotgun. KC is going to hand off to Deuce. Deuce taken down one on one. Just two rushes, second and eight. Gain of two there, my boy Jay Coke. <laughs> Jay Coker. Jay Coker, he be hitting. He remind me of Jay Landry. They both little guys, just hitting out there. Just, look, they both got the long sleeves sitting up top right there, midsection. Jay Landry and Jay Coke. Casey under center, single back. Deuce, here he is. Uh oh, I knew it. Taking just a little bit too time. Too much time, I mean. Second and eight. KC gotta gotta settle down. This is the national championship. The Eagles gotta feel, you know, they gotta they gotta get a feel for this ball game. You know, they've been struggling all all season offensively. Can we can we agree to that? They've been kind of struggling all season. The defense has been carrying, the defense has been spectacular. But, you know, they haven't found that groove even in the even in the playoffs. It just hasn't been looking too great. The defense has just been amazing as usual. Newton, on the other hand, they figured out their offensive struggles, I feel like. I feel like ever since the playoffs have started, they made a playbook change, and they never looked back. KC in this, in this offensive unit, they've got to figure something out here. Second and 13. They're going to go with Deuce again. Deuce, oh, he had a little room there, but then he ran into some traffic, and Zeke Moore is going to help finish this one out. Third and 11. Riley Hicks with the initial stop. And uh, man, we're gonna 
come just under six minutes here in this first quarter and Collins offense as usual stagnant this team has got to figure it out I would love to see this offense pick it up and make this a real ball game a true classic here goes Casey going up top oh and it's clamped that's Davon Wendy's ladies and gents if you don't know now you know number two Davon Wendy sophomore athlete corner wide receiver out of Georgia it's going to be a senior next year. As you know, we got, uh, we're got we going ahead and doing some juniors and seniors only. So, Davon with a nice stop. They're going to uh, give it to Dell, I guess. But we see Davon clearly there with the knockaway on Travis Irving, forcing a three and out. And Newton is going to get another shot here. Cartier Wobe, I hope you're ready because it looks like this could be a game you can walk away with here. Looks like it might be one. Let's see if they can test this Collins defense again. Collins defense has got to show up. Here's Princeton. Oh, nice takedown here. Nice takedown. He's just down on the 14. So, you know, uh, some tough field position here to start for Cartier. But Cartier just seems very comfortable. I don't know. Very comfortable this playoffs. I got a lot of confidence in this guy right now. Nineteen strong guys. Let's hit that like button. Let's get that up to ten real quick. We at nine. First and 10 on the 14. Let's see what Newton comes out with. Really nice drive last time out before touchdown. Here's Cartier. Hand oh, faking the handoff. Nice. Oh, just a dotter. Wow. Dot squad hashtag. Dot squad. Zeke Moore with the catch. Zeke Moore been gunning for that tight end one title. For quite some time now, he feels like he's earned it over the last few weeks. Definitely a nice pass, zipped it right in there. Here's P. Hall, single back, giving a chance to run it. Oh, taken down. Ran into some heavy traffic there. Second and seven, big game three though. That was a nice game of three, strong game. Cartier looking. Oh! Gonna get a flag out there. Looks like somebody got a little handsy out there. Jay Harris. He wanted to be on the outside. Welcome to the outside, kid. We got a flag on the play. problems in the chat there I see <laughs> precious getting to the outside Princeton with the takedown second and three after the flag down on the 46 Cartier grabbing his soldiers up telling them let's get going let's lock in fellas we got a chance Cartier knows they have a big chance here to go with a go up a big a big with a big lead here if they can go up 14-0 in the first that's going to be quite the uh, setback for Collins, but Travis Irving on the takedown here. Third and three. Kyrie nowhere to go. Big shout outs again to the chat. I'm always trying to get a little look over there. I see my guy Moolah stepped in the building. Definitely want to announce something too. I'll do that while we're here live. That way I can save me a bunch of typing and, and mentioning people. Oh, oh, with the clampers. Oh. Cartier gets taken down here. And we're gonna get a three and out. So here comes that Collins defense. Finally finding that groove. Maybe this can get the offense jumping. Sometimes you need the, uh, the defense to spark the offense a bit. And just, you know, throws a bad pass to P. Hall. Bad ball there. Just no room to really operate. And Collins with a wonderful stop. They really needed that stop. It was gonna get a little bit dangerous here had they not gotten that stop. And they get really nice field position. The punt was horrible. The punt was terrible. I mean, the punt was absolutely disgusting. But I don't want to talk about it too much more. <laughs> but we are we are where we are. We're on the 37. Okay. KC, you got some room to work with. You don't have a full field to drive. KC Robinson, number one quarterback. We deemed you this. I haven't put it out officially, but I'm 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 saying it live here. That you have officially taken the number one spot. But you can't take the number one spot and 
and, and not do your do your work. We need to see it. KC under center. He's going to hand it to Deuce. Deuce has some room. Oh, he ducks under Jay. Flipped and rolled. <laughs> Flipped and rolled into eight yards. Second and two. I don't know why he didn't just stay outside Reggie Bush style, but he wanted to take on some contact, I guess. So, hey, here we are. Second and two. Going to 46. Collins with uh, not... You know, not a full length of field to drive, so KC should be able to operate here. Here we are. Under center again. Oh, nice. Oh, what a play. Oh, JoJo. Oh, JoJo Akane with the jump and the delivery. Touchdown, Collins. Here we go. Strap on, baby. Let's go. Strap on them seat belts. Strap in your seat. Get your popcorn, folks, because we got us a game. Yay. What a fake. Yo, KC, I thought the boy was running the ball. What a fake. Faked it in a quick toss to JoJo. JoJo with the moves to the crib. He's a senior headed to Alabama. This is the last high school game he's going to ever play. He's putting on for the city. Oh, my goodness. Wow. PFL Natty. They said something about the offenses. No, 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 no. Not nothing about the mod anti. It's my guy. You know, we do good work here. We just got to put that work in. We got to perform, baby. That's it. 7-7. Seven, seven. We got us one. Tune in. <laughs> Let's go. I was waiting for an epic play. I, was, I, I just didn't want college to go down like that. I was a little scared, you know. I, you know me. What I, I come for a show, fight back, fight back. <laughs> Let's get it. It's the Natty, fellas. Tune in, man. Seven-seven ball game. First quarter has been exciting. Twenty-one people strong. Let's hit those like buttons. Twelve likes. We up here. How Newton going to respond? We got two tutties on the board first quarter, guys. So there will be no shutouts. There will be no shortage of touchdowns in this one. These guys got the jitters out. First 10, 11 minutes are out. I think they're about settled in. Let me get your early game. Uh, let me let's call this game, man. Who y'all got? In the, let me let me see who y'all got in the comment section, please. Who y'all got winning this game? Let me just get one. Let me get Newton or Collins. Come on now. I need to see it now. Let me see it early. We done got the jitters out the way. We done got some tutties on the board. We done seen what's, what the atmosphere is like. Let me get a winner. Let me get a winner. Cartier Wobe. Starting off under center in his drive. A buck 53. Dropping back. Looking. Hits his running back. Precious. Got some room. And Zay Harris makes the strong tackle here. You know, when Precious gets a uh, head of steam, when he gets uh, some room, you got to be careful. He's just coming down at you. Freight train action. Cartier Wobe, shotgun. Nice little pass over to Davon, and you know that's their guy. They call his number when they want to pick up a quick first. Davon Wendy's checking in, first and ten. On the 43, 35 yards now on his second catch of the day. We got a couple of guys here. Let's see, Huncho. What up, Huncho? <laughs> That's fam right there. But no, P. Hall, man. P. Hall, of course, taking Newton. We got uh, Nasir. I like to see guys from other teams. St. John Bosco, Nasir headed to USC, taking Collins. Mula taking Collins. All right. All right. Yeah, you got to go with your SC boys, Naj. You got you got your, your your secondary out there holding it down for Collins. So you got to go with your secondary. Make sure they can strap things up uh, headed over to college next season. You guys are going to be a crazy uh, core over there. That's, that's dangerous. Here's Cartier in the center, handing it off to P. Hall, hitting that outside just quick. Yo, this guy is just a monster. First down, Princeton with the takedown. But P. Hall, once he hits that outside... You see how quickly he gets out there, too? He's just changing directions on point. Just 
super solid running back headed to Ole Miss next season to play for Coach Ronnie Jewell. So shout out to Coach Ronnie Jewell getting the workhorse. I don't even know how Coach pulled it off. He he's that was amazing. He pulled off two of the best backs, two top two, uh, top three running backs, one and three. So I don't know how he did it, but it's just called top notch recruiting. Here's Precious O. Oh, Eric Lyle. We all know a little bit about Eric Lyle. <laughs> One of the best CPU players in the game. Shout out to those nice prime league helmets. You see that logo on there, that sticker? We official. I love it. Shout out to Anti. We official, man. I love seeing the logo on there. Quarter two, we here. Let's get those twos in the chat. Just to let me know that y'all here rocking with us today, man. This is going to be a exciting game. I mean, this is already moving fast. We already in quarter two. I feel like we just got started. So we got 12 minutes here, 12 strong minutes. You know those second quarters could be game changers. Let's see who strikes. Let's see who strikes. Let's get those twos in the chat. Cartier got an empty backfield here. Everybody spread. Let's see where he goes. He's gonna air it out. Ah, nice little pass to Zeke. Oh, Eric Lyle. There's that guy, Eric Lyle, bringing the pain. Nice boom stick, but Zeke Moore, that's a big fella. He held on to the ball, picked up the yards the team needed, third and four. Nice down, uh, nice crucial uh, down right here. Normally, Cartier likes to go to Davon Wendy's in these situations. So let's see if he goes to number two here. Let's see, third and four, only 37. Cartier shotgun. Where's he going to go? He's looking, pressure, takes it himself. Or he does that, then he slides. He's going to slide. He's not going to slide. Eric Lyle, he dared Eric Lyle. That's a daring man there, Cartier. He tried him and he succeeded. First and 10. That's the perks of having a nice dual threat. You can mix it up. You can get those little five, six yard gains. First down's easy. Five, six yarders. Those coming to sleep. You know, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much what this guy does. You know, it's, it, even, even in the red zone, when it's time for a touchdown, they're about five to six yards back. He's an easy five, six yard touchdown. A couple of strides, he's there. He's about six, what is he, six, five? <laughs> it's a very tall build. Here he is under center, single back. Precious, quick little screen pass over to Davon. I was a play late, or a play early. Went to Davon on the first. But he's quickly swarmed. Princeton Butler all over that. Zay Harris in the mix. Princeton got his third tackle on the day. Again, happy new year, everybody tuning in i appreciate you guys for being here on a holiday on such a big day bringing in a 2023 with a national championship game here for the pfl season two newton college both georgia teams part three of this mix up part three of this mix up picked it is picked i can't write it script it choreograph it is live it's a tip drill Collins defense picked Kyrie you gotta hold on my boy Travis Irving with the knockaway the freshman safety yikes it's the PFL we don't know what'll happen one moment you could be up the other moments you could be down. This is just how it goes. Oh my goodness, this is a national championship that we won. <laughs> KC Robinson, you have a chance to make something happen, sir. Nice pass, slant route, Travis Irvin. After making the defensive stop, the young guy gets a nice slant route, pickup of nine here on the 49. And look, Collins has a chance here to take control of this ball game. The momentum has swung. The momentum has officially swung. KC's got single back. He's got Deuce. He knows it, but he fakes it. But then he gives it to him for the first. We're going to be seeing a lot of this duo next season. Stay here. Lock in. Stay tuned, don't you go nowhere because the KC and Deuce show will live on in college. Just remember that. So you will see more of this Collins backfield next season. 
Casey under center. First and 10 on the 49. He's going to be using his arm a lot in this drive. And he has another dot to Sergio. And Sergio checks to see if his footing is correct. He did a little bit of dancing. <laughs> a little bit of toe tapping. And look at him. Talking about he's... <laughs> Sergio catching it with style. Just grooving on him. 85. Imagine that. Your freshman year, you play at Modern Day. You transfer over to Collins for your sophomore year. You're in the natty. That's a hell of a transfer. That's what you call a successful transfer. KC under center again. Got a nice block. Deuce working, moving. That was a nice block. I ain't going to lie. That was a nice block. A nice block there. Deuce. Deuce been doing a little bit too, too much moving out there. But, but he's definitely working as long as he's here to work. As long as he's here to work and move those chains. Down on the 25 here. They are moving. Second and four. Here's KC. KC been using that arm. Ooh, gotta be careful. Almost. You know, got a little uh, careless with the ball there right there. Third and four. Gotta be careful. This is the championship. You don't want to blow it now. You're on the 25, KC. You gotta make it happen. This is where you take control. You take the, what do they say? You take the bull by the horns. This is where you do it. On the 25. Here's KC. Got a screen. Deuce catches it and he breaks a tackle. He has one man to beat. Couldn't beat him, but he gets the first. And see, that's the type of uh, elusive. And actually, that was just straight power and finesse right there from Dre. I said, ah, I've been doing good, Deuce. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Ah. But I've been doing good. Give me my flowers now. Give me my flowers now. But yeah, Deuce, solid run right there. I wasn't sure he... Dang, he had the bunny hop, catch the ball, break the tackle, drag a dude. Oh, man. Let's see, we got Clemson in the building, Coach Kai. Another handoff to Deuce. They're going to go to the workhorse. Kobe Lewis helping on the tackle. Davon Wendy's getting back there. Tackling. Jay Coker, second and nine on the 17. Casey Robinson and the Eagles have a chance to really take control of this game. They're definitely, they definitely should be looking at going up three. That should be a given, but we know in the PFL we've seen quite a few blocked field goals, so that's not even really a given. But they should definitely want to get seven. Oh, I don't know about that pass. It just looked ugly coming off the fingertips. I knew it was a bad one. It's just a bad ball, Casey. Third and nine, you gotta buckle down now. You're a senior, you headed off to college. You boys been top dogs all year long. This is the time to buckle down in the red zone. You're on the 17. You got to make that magic happen right now. Here comes the big dog, Dale Wock, stepping up. Going to close in on the gaps here. KC, nice, nice, nice. Nice. That's when you know it's a night here. And then they'll say just nice. <laughs> Travis Irving. The freshman making plays. He's a first downer. Two catches for 20 yards. That means 10 pieces only, please. Just 10 pieces me, please, sir. First down, what a dot. What a dot. Davon, burnt. 21 strong in the chat. I love it, fellas. Let's hit that like button. Let's get that up. 13, let's get to 15. Let's work our way up now. KC under center. Deuce in the backfield. Dropping back. Another one of those, uh, I don't know what you want to call those passes. We're going to have to, we're going to have to stop doing those, though, so we don't have to make a name for it. <laughs> let's call it the, I only want to see it twice pass. <laughs> we don't want to see it again. That's what that's called. Come on now, Casey. Close, close it out now. Second and goal. First, number one quarterback in the nation. Is that what they're calling you now? Under center. What is he going to do in the red zone on the six? Oh, he's going to get sacked down. Ruben West. If you know, you know. You know the name. Third and goal. Casey, you got to start using. You got to fuel the Jets. What's going on with the Jet? Is it no power back there? Is it, is it no Is it no fuel there? No gas? You can gas up the Jets? Normally, Casey, he's able to do the Casey special. Roll out, get a quick little 10-yard gain. Touchdown. I don't know. Maybe he didn't fuel him up. He took the boots off. I ain't think he need a gas no more, but he might need some gas. Third and goal. He might need it. 
Dump it off the deuce. Give it the deuce. Deuce will do the job. Deuce. Oh, man. Just go, they're going to come up short. They're going to come up short. They've been working that screen. I'm not going to lie. Deuce has been hitting that corner. He's been hitting that outside pretty well, but not enough room to run fourth and goal on the four. And this is going to bring up a field goal situation. Newton defense. Lock it down. Newton defense locking down. KC surprisingly not taking off. This could be due to a playbook change. It could not be, but, you know, I'm, I'm accustomed to seeing KC take off in some of those situations. So that's going to be something to keep your eye out on. Uh, but you know what? Cartier is running the same playbook over there for Newton. And, and so if he, and they're very, very similar quarterbacks. So if, he, if he's getting out running, then KC is a mindset thing. Gotta get out running. Colin playing is safe. Elected to not go for it. They wanted to take the lead 10 7. Sometimes, hey, we're in the national championship. You gotta take the lead at this point. You can't chance it. You have to take a lead. Gotta take that lead and Collins does just that. They get a three point lead on the board here, 10-7. Coming up on four. Just under five minutes here. In the second quarter, first half. Action almost done. Remember we gotta we, we watched KC start this game off. Remember? So Newton, let's keep that in the back of our minds here. Newton gets the ball at half, so. This should be a really crucial, this is a very, I wouldn't say defining drive, but this is a very important drive for Newton, especially if they can come out and score here, score seven and then get the ball back. They can burn this whole four minutes, get the ball back at the half, you know, up, and then maybe potentially score again, so. But then also, this is a very crucial drive for Collins on the defensive end because the stop here would mean everything. Possibly getting the ball back. So let's see how they play it. But here's Precious getting some room. Taken down here. Travis Irving. He's everywhere tonight, I feel like. I've, I've seen number three everywhere. I mean, only one tackle, but maybe he's just been playing it, getting the dirty plays done, the, the, the pass deflections and assisting tackles. Four yards. Four yard gain there for Precious Hall. Second and six. Oh, what a pass, Zeke Moore. Travis lifts him off his feet, but, but Zeke Moore with the takedown. Uh, uh, Jojo, you're my, uh, Rado is normally a mod, but clearly he's not here. Uh, but I just made you, you guys mod, so. Casey and, <laughs> Casey and Jojo. Big time game though. First and ten. Oh, he's trying to figure some space out there. He just ran into some traffic. P. Hall couldn't quite figure it out. Eric Lyle all over the game plan that time. Second and twelve. You gotta be careful when you it's like when you play in this college defense, you have to execute perfectly almost. You have to play the perfect game. That's how you beat this team. You know, they they beat them last game because they just they just they were, all, they were on fire. They were clicking on all cylinders. You know, the offense was just, just high-powered. They were locked in. They were almost playing the perfect game. You can't win a, a low-scoring game against Collins. See, Newton had about, what, what was it, 40-something points? 47 points when they beat Collins. You got to put up numbers on Collins. Travis getting another stop on Zeke Moore there. Uh, but he's finding Zeke. Zeke has able, been a nice scapegoat for uh, Cartier. He's able to... Bail him out there and pick up the yards. Third and six. Not a bad situation. Already 41 yards for Zeke, so he's matching his jersey number. Travis has been finding him out there, getting another tackle. That's back-to-back -back tackles for the freshman. So he's definitely putting on a display here live in the championship game. Going to do well for him going into next season as a junior. Third and six here is uh, going to be a big time down here for Cartier, but he's been, he's been converting, so here he is looking for another. Just before the half, here he is, number seven, looking. Oh, it's picked and 
there's my goal! The Prince of Picks, Princeton Butler to the crib number six! Whoa! The Prince of Picks! What did I tell you? You gotta have that man guarding up. To the crib! The best pick artist we have in the game. He is the pick artist. The Prince of Picks. He is back. He wants another. And another, please. Look how he reads it. He's holding his hip. He said, excuse me, Kyrie. You don't want that, but I do. Touchdown. It's the Natty. You got to put a guy right there. You got to watch him. The Prince of Picks <laughs> strikes again. PB. CB2. <laughs> I don't know, PB might have been, hey, he might be CB1, Zay, I'm sorry. I love you, Zay, but, 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 but PB be making plays, G. Princeton, I don't know, man, I might have to redo some graphics or something, because I don't know, Princeton, you might have to just be, you might be CB1, fam, you might be a lock. You might be a lock, G, I'm sorry, this might have to change. This is Zay, Zay Harris, I love you, but this, this, this might have to, this is some madness. This is some madness. <laughs> Princeton is him. And he get talked about all the time. He's him. I know Zay on lockdown. That's why I always get you number one, because I feel like you on lockdown, they don't try you, right? And when they do try you, it's trouble. But Princeton be making plays, man. I mean, that boy be out there. Wow. 17 7 Collins. I just said it could be a game winning, it could be a defining drive. Collins with the pick six. Two interceptions. Two picks for Cartier. Collins, they getting it back in blood. They lost the last time they played this team and they won it in blood. They've been feeling away ever since that game. They blew their first opponent out. Blue Chandler. They've been wanting Newton. He all trucking down the lane. 41 yards on the night. I need to take a breather because this has gotten out of hand. Princeton Butler, you are out of line. Sebastian Como, 16 yarder freshman receiver. Really great hands. Gonna really be a spark on this team next season. You know, we're relocating, I guess you say relocating some of these teams next year, so. But the good news is the champion will stay. So whichever of these teams win, I won't be getting rid of them. I was initially getting rid of both of these teams. They're going to be Buford and Langston Hughes, two, two uh, more top-tier teams in the nation, um, IRL, but nice dive. There's that scapegoat. Zeke Moore. This game's not over. It's falling them over. But the loser of this game will be getting replaced, and I'll be keeping the, the championship team. But this game is far from over, as we see Cartier picking apart this defense just before the half. See, Collins, they, they can't let up here because Newton still gets the ball back at the half. So they could very well score here, whether that's three or seven. Any any amount of points would do them some justice here because if they can just get three, now they're just a touchdown down away and then they could come down and get the ball back and score. And here we are, a tie game. So this is not over, far from over. This is just first half action. But you know how it goes in the PFL, it's real lit. Every oh, Eric, Lyle. You gotta keep an eye on this kid. He will hit you. 26 strong in the chat, fellas. We have 15 likes now. Let's get it up to 17, 18. One step at a time. Pick that man up, though. <laughs> Pick that man up. Eric Lyle, you out here wilding. It's going to be a...
going to be a long night if Eric can catch him across the middle like that. Cartier, you might want to uh, stray away from sending your receivers down that route. Oh, what a dot. Nicely done. And there's my guy, Sebastian Como, freshman wide receiver. Always running great routes, great hands, getting in position to uh, make plays out here on the field for this uh, Newton team. So this one's going to be this one's going to be a momentum swing here. We're going to see what Cartier can put the seven on the board. Here he is. Nice dump off his scapegoat. That's what I call him. <laughs> Zeke, he's going to make sure he make plays. Zeke is a, is great hands as well. Six receptions for 58 yards. He's going to make plays. He's going to catch the football. Eric Lyle up to five tackles now. Shout out to AB. No, this is not a 20 game check in. <laughs> that boy AB be scheming on him. Oh, there he is again. That's my guy. That's that young guy. That young freshman star receiver, Sebastian Como, is on a tear. Three straight rece uh, receptions there as he's charging for a touchdown. Newton trying to get a late first half touchdown here to make this game epic. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And they get the ball at the half. Here's Cartier looking. He's oh, sat down. Sammy Washington not having it. Got a timeout here. Let's see if they take take one more shot. They gotta take one more shot here before they go for a field goal. Let's see if Cartier's made of that stuff. Let's see if Cartier's made of that stuff. Here he is, dropping back, quick pass. Zeke, there he is, the scapegoat. Zeke Moore just, I don't know what to say, man. Zeke Moore is the scapegoat. Whenever in doubt, find Zeke Moore in a route. Touchdown, Newton. It's the Natty, and we are in for a treat, folks. Oh, my goodness. What a first half. goodness man listen I told y'all we don't we, we produce classics here we only produce classics I come for a show guys I just come for a show that's all I just want to see a show Zeke Moore gives me a show every time I tune in repping for Zeke's out there <laughs> you know we got EG and Zeke gunning for tight end one, I don't know. We're going to have to maybe have a poll because both guys are spectacular. I got to put their highlights next to each other because both of those guys get busy. It, it might be a 1A, 1B situation. I've seen both of them do some crazy things. And then we got a lot of sleeper tight ends. Like you still can't forget Caden Mitchell. Caden Mitchell is very tough. Caden Mitchell, Sergio Moreno, super tough as well. So uh, those are two other, I would say, strong candidates or uh, honorable mentions there. But uh, Caden Mitchell, don't sleep on Caden Mitchell. I believe Caden is very tough. But just eight seconds left in this first half as Newton has just snatched back some momentum, even though they're down right now. They just down but not out. But they definitely snatched the momentum here going into the second half with uh, receiving the ball in the second half. So this is a good this is good news for Newton. Their offense came out, handled their business with just with two interceptions. Cartier Wobe is able to figure out a way to uh, still reel this team, will his team down for a touchdown. So you got to say that's a lot in a quarterback. You know, he came out here through two picks, even a pick six, right? That that could be a little uh, uh, disheartening. That could be a little, you know, uh, like, dang, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. Like, I, I, I give up, coach. Like, I'm <laughs> – but you know what? This kid, he's got a lot of heart. As we see that pick six right there from Princeton, P6. <laughs> pick six for P6. You might just have to call you P6 because it fit, it's fitting. It's, it's just destined. But – uh. Let me see those threes in the chat. Throw those threes up, fellas. But, yeah, definitely a tough effort, tough display that we're seeing from this young junior quarterback, Cartier Wobe, because to come out and throw two picks in the first half and then to wheel your team down for seven before the half and get the ball back at halftime, like, this kid is, he's, he's, he's showing that he got a lot of grit. He's got a lot of grit. And, you know, I can't wait to see what he does in his second half of football. It's, not, it's a big-time second half. I feel like both teams have stepped up to the challenge 
we have ourselves we officially have a great ball game no team is, on, is slouching right now both offenses are kind of moving in the groove both defenses are hitting making plays this game is just going to come down to who makes that final play who wants it a little more and then we're going to see we're going to get newton coming out second half cartier robe you had a wonderful drive you got your team down the field and you know very quickly <laughs> and that was very impressive i, I might add but now we got to settle back down the game is slowing back down you know you were you were a little desperate out there trying to trying to make something happen and sometimes quarterbacks play their best ball under desperation you know when, when the clock is moving and you got to make plays and you got to think sharp so but sometimes you give a quarterback too much time to think too many seconds on the clock you know you say oh we got more possessions we got more drives then they start to get a little complacent but if they feel like it's now or never you might see the best arm so I want to see Cartier now that the game is slowing back down second half you know let's see him gather his troops down three still still down three but tons of momentum here headed into the second half just a dot and he's still picking up on that momentum still picking up as Davon Wendy's sophomore standout here having himself a night 49 yards for New Year's here first and 10 on the 39 is Cartier Cartier slinging that pig, man. He's feeling it today. I wasn't sure where that one was going. I was lucky that Zeke jumped up and caught it. <laughs> Zeke just jumped out of nowhere. Like, I don't know where he came from. Because I didn't know. I thought that was about to get picked or something or straight to the ground. So, just great awareness from Zeke Moore to, to be able to snatch that one and, and just even gain two out of that. Turn something into nothing. Or nothing into something, I should say. Single back here. Precious Hall might looking like he... Wants a touch, but Cartier is going to pass it again. Oh, Davon Wendy's is going to get smacked by Travis Irving. The freshman free safety just putting in work today. You got to say the freshman is really showing out. I'm sure he's going to rack up some offers in the offseason here because this kid is definitely doing his thing. Cartier is going to empty that backfield. Got a lot of targets out here. Gets it to P. Hall. It's going to be short. And Collins setting the tone here in the second half. Yes, they gave up a tutty. But now we're back. We're back even now. Collins got the ball. They stopped these guys from scoring. And now let's see how KC responds. You know, KC having a nice, a solid, solid couple of drives recently. I wouldn't say great. You know, obviously the defense scored last time out. PB took it home to the crib. But... You know, I got to see KC under under these circumstances getting his first look in the second half. I got to see what this guy is capable of. You know, it, it's going to be a great thing if, if, if these guys have their quarterback feeling electric in this second half. If KC could come out running the ball a little bit more, showing that dual threat ability, you know, gunning it out a little bit more to JoJo, getting it over to JoJo. We know JoJo's special. We've seen, him, we've seen him catch it for a long drive earlier in the game. Nice juke move to the crib, 50 plus yards. So it's all up to KC. This 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 is all on KC. QB1 has got to determine and dictate this offense. He's got to dictate it on the ground. He's got to dictate it through the air. Let's see how they come out here, top of the second half, first and 10. On the 20. They're gonna roll out and he's got some pressure. Uh, just an ugly rollout straight into the pressure. His block didn't even have his blocker didn't even really have a chance. All the guy had to do was reach around and grab his shoulders. <laughs> ah man, just gotta have better decision making in that pocket, Casey. Gotta have better decision making. Just a terrible rollout. Terrible drop back. So there's the route that I was looking for, but just not the yards. Third and seven. Big time play here. Both defenses locked in. 
Casey looking to make plays nicely done. Gets it over to his freshman receiver. I believe that's Trey's first look because I haven't seen much of Trey Marcus today. Yep, that is his first look for 13 yards. So definitely, definitely a big time game uh, to get this team going because this team's been struggling quite a bit offensively. And so that's a nice big 13 yard game for the freshman wideout to join the party. Welcome to the Natty, Trey Marcus. And that's the thing, you don't want to get this guy going. This guy, Trey Marcus, he definitely could run off a few possessions as well. He's a prime player, Trey Marcus. Was a user, but now he's a prime player. Nice handoff to Deuce. Deuce up the middle. No way. No way. Deuce Willis to the crib. Running back one. RB1. Ole Miss. 64 yard touchdown. Oh my gosh. What a move. Yikes. The Natty. Welcome, Del Wacky Boy. Del Wacky Boy. <laughs> no! No! Wow! Ole Miss has got one! The Rebels! We're gonna have to call them the Running Rebels! The Deuce Running Rebels! Oh boy! Deuce Willis! You, sir. <laughs> wow. Talk about an electrifying moment. I love it here. <laughs> I love it here. The crowd is going nuts. We got a packed out stadium here for the win it all. <laughs> the game of all games. Oh my gosh, the Pizza Hut Stadium is rocking. <laughs> Deuce Willis, I love when I see big time running plays, you know, because you always see the big catch. You always see the big throw. But man, when you see the big run, don't it hit a little bit different when a, when a man just toting that rock, right? Oh man, Deuce Willis. Listen, Deuce. You done, ever since you made a couple of those upgrades, those we talked, we had a chat in the Discord. You, you had a couple, of, you made a couple of very key upgrades over the last couple of weeks, my brother. And you doubled down on actually two very important categories. And ever since then, it's been looking great on you. Like you, your guy's been moving. He he's been moving. That man's been running like a grown man out there. He's ready for the next level. I was a little concerned. You know, not concerned about his talent level, but. That's a little concerned about just how great he could be. But when you made those changes, this guy came out running like a dog. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Collins on top. Nice stop here on Precious Hall. And again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, it was a little it was a little I was a little upset when I found out two of the best backs were headed to Ole Miss. I wanted to see these guys carry their own team in their own right, you know, get all the touches, 20, 20 to 30 touches a night. But, I don't know, seeing these two share touches, P. Hall and Deuce, as you see P. Hall, he's a wonderful catch and running back as well. Both of these guys can catch the ball very well and pick up yards. Two very similar running backs. Uh, I think I just think Deuce is just a little more electrifying, as you can see, uh, juke down the middle and to the touch, and, and for Tutty, to the crib. So. It's going to be interesting to see both of these guys sharing touches out there. I mean, I guess you can say each time a running back touches the ball, it's going to be it's going to be some type of game. It's going to be electrifying, you know, whether it's P. Hall or or Deuce. But it definitely would have been a nice thing to see both of those guys run on their own uh, teams. Uh, you know, oh, and there's CB1. He he took it personal. Eric Lyle to the. Touchdown! This thing just got out of hand. I'm about to lose my marbles. I'm losing it in the booth. Somebody come save me. Zay Harris said, I'm CB1. 
This is why, Zeke, this is why I'm him. Because I make dudes cough it up. I bring the pain. I bring that stuff. Yeah, yeah, PP got hands. Yeah, he got hands. He got hands. He got grippers. But I bring that stuff. I'm a hitter for real. Okay, Zay, my bad, brother. I'm going to back it up. Okay, I'm going to back up. Okay, you right. Let me back up. <laughs> Zay, Harris, Zeke. Oh, no, Zeke. Oh, Zeke. <laughs> it's out of hand. It's getting out of hand. Collins defense, the best defense we've ever seen. It's the best defense we've ever seen. I can't call it no other way. Come on, fellas. Can we agree that this is the best defense that we've ever seen? This defense is unbelievable. Two picks, force fumbles. <laughs> I mean, what else you want? I mean, these boys, they score off. They score off a of defense. They got two tutties off. off they got a tutty off a pick and a tutty off a fumble. I mean, what else do you want them to do? You want them to block a field goal? Stay tuned. There's more to come. You hear me? Oh, my goodness. I need a breather. Guys, um, guys, 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 I have a question, I have something to say, guys. Um, so I've been calling games all season, right? And I've been watching Collins, yeah? And I kind of know the vibe and the tone of their game, and, uh, yeah. You get where I'm going with this? It's looking like one of those days. It's looking like one of those days is where I'm getting it. New Year, same Collins. They've been looking a little shaky. But again, I want to point this out. Oh, Cartier breaks the tackle. Is he going to break another one? No, he's not. It's Collins. I think he's going to break another one. <laughs> it's Collins. Third and 15. The defense is just absolutely incredible. I mean, listen. We've never seen a defense like this in the PFL. I haven't seen a defense like this ever in Madden. I'm going to be honest. It's just shut down. It's just shut down. I don't understand. Fumbles. Picks. You name it. Three and outs. You name it. But they did come with the senior core. They, they knew what they would see. You know what? It's all about the teams and what you put together. And they really put together something special. They knew they had some seniors at the corner position, a senior at the safety, freshman at the safety. They mixed it up well. Upperclassmen. This was probably the oldest team in the in the league so it's fitting that they win the championship you know if they do win it right you know we've seen a lot of things happen in the bfl zeke moore picking up a nice game there but it's going to be short travis urban seems like he's all over zeke moore today i mean he's a free safety but he's reading that tight end today boy he is all over zeke but zeke 10 receptions that's a lot of tight end work 10 receptions for 78 yards i mean zeke have a day man have a day i mean you coughed one up but have a day sir you're very active out here you're being a number one target for your qb you can't ask for more. They're working you. You might cough one up again. You're just getting worked, you know? But this defense is just beating them. Every time I think, I just, they just beat, they just beating you. Just beating you like you stole something. Coach! Coach! <laughs> I think about that girl on the, remember the Titans. Coach! <laughs> they beating you. They just beating them like you stole something. <laughs> Hey man, what's going on with this 69mega.com, man? Please get him out of here. Who is that? Why is you here? Why are you being freaky and nasty? I mean, I know I'm freaky Ziggy, but chill. We can't do that right now. Like, relax. 
Get out of here. We at the natty. You tripping, girl. <laughs> Oh, is that a snag? They might have to review that one. If not, JoJo with 95 yards. JoJo have a day, sir. Oh, he's out. He's got to be out. No, no shade. I didn't see the one foot. That's why I was like, that looked a little funny. They gave it to him. That's some good hands, though. 22 strong in the chat. 16 likes. Let's get a couple more likes, fellas. Let's get a couple more. Let's put on. It's been a good day. Yeah, they had to bring that back. Second and 10. I was going to say, he's out of there. <laughs> he said he got it. <laughs> you crazy, boy. You crazy. Second and ten. KC in the shotgun with all the momentum in the world. <laughs> now, you have to point this out. Nice pass, Sergio Moreno. There's that other tight end. There's that sleeper tight end. Transferred from modern day. Putting in that work, two receptions for 28 yards today. But I do want to point out, again, the defense of Collins winning them another game, basically. I mean, the quarterbacks, I mean, the offenses, they're looking solid tonight. I'm not too mad at the offense. It's still a little bit stagnant. But obviously, Deuce, you know, they made some elite, they had some elite players make some elite plays. Here goes Sergio again. Like, Deuce with the juke to a touchdown. JoJo with the juke to a touchdown. That was just elite guys making big plays. But... You know, defense ultimately setting the tone for his team today again and just, you know, winning this one. If they do, you know, just, just really setting that tone. But like I will say, the offense, give credit to where it's due, JoJo and Deuce, making just spectacular plays, just making spectacular plays, dynamic plays, two seniors, hungry for a natty, and uh, they want it. They want it. Sergio Moreno, now he's stepping up. He wants it. It's KC, that was, that was a super dot. But you always know, sometimes a super dot turns into a delay of game. <laughs> they say, oh yeah, you too hot right now. Slow it down, bring it back, humble yourself, King. Deuce with the juke. Yeah, that was, that was nasty, ju uh, Deuce. The, the, hey, Deuce is loose. <laughs> like that, that, that was, man. The juice, he the juice now. The juice is loose, man. Deuce Juice Willis. KC under center here with Deuce in the backfield. And they're going to be running a lot of clock. I could, uh, I would assume as you see Deuce here. So he's going to have an opportunity to step pad basically and end his high school career with a beautiful stat line in the national championship game, which is something that he's going to be able to, uh, you know, talk about for, for a long time. You know, to have over 100 yard, 100 rushing yards in the, in the natty, that's that's going to be great on your resume, man. Great. Casey looking, got him. Sergio, that's three straight first downs for Sergio. Again, you guys, we got to talk about those sleeper tight ends. We were just talking about Zeke and all these other guys. Again, Sergio Moreno, that's just 57 yards, but he's making moves, first downs every single time. And now this Collins offense moving, looking to score again. That's the thing about Collins. When their offense is clicking, you might get 40, 50 piece. The defense is going to at least score 30. Here's Deuce. Oh, my goodness. This kid's running that football. Run my football, Deuce. You better run my football. Oh, my goodness. Second and two. Mm -mm -mm. Collins Hill, the most dominant team in the series all season long. Looks like... As we hit the fourth here soon, it looks like these guys are going to be crowned season two champs. KC getting it off to Deuce. Deuce 
Look at Juke taken down. Strong tackle. Strong what? tackle with that Jay Coker. Five tackles. First time we've seen that KC special. Oh my gosh! Boy! <laughs> hey, that boy scared me. That's the first time we've seen the KC special all night. And that boy broke for 33 yards to the one yard line. Boy, if you don't go home, if you don't go on home, you better go to the crib now. Goodness, now they just out here for show. They just out here for play play. Oh, oh they just out here making dynamic plays. Let's see if they go ahead and give it to Deuce. Oh, they actually got the backup running back in. So let's see if he can go ahead and... Oh, man, he's not going to go ahead and do anything. <laughs> oh, there's a big difference. Look at this little guy. <laughs> All right, Deuce, come back in. those scores in the chat fellas it's been a great game 14-0 shut out in that third quarter that third quarter changed everything it's been a great game though let's tune in for one final quarter of madness guys hashtag for the players y'all we made it hashtag we made it we here y'all our last and final fourth quarter of the season y'all high school season two we are here fellas Let's see if KC can bring us in strong. Fourth quarter, top of the fourth for the, for the score here. And he does just that. Trey Marcus, the freshman receiver, finds an out route there for an easy snag. Touchdown, Collins. And they're just pretty much putting a nail on the coffin there at the top of the fourth just to solidify things here. And, uh, yeah, Collins Hill, 37-14. They wanted to get there, get back. Newton won the state championship. Upset Collins. They felt like they had Collins' number. They felt like it was easy. But you know what I loved about Collins? They're a true number one team. Because they took the L, came out, blew a team out. Only allowed six points. Came out again, blew out another top team. Came out right now, blowing out this team. So they're just a true number one. Just an absolute true number one team. As KC daps his team up. Just a true number one team all season long. Make sure you guys stick around for this fourth quarter. A lot of ball left in this game. Also stick around for the post game talks. Here I'm going to probably be letting some be letting a couple of guys come on live actually guys so if you are looking at the chat now I'm gonna be uh, in the discord pulling some guys in for some live chatter after this ball game as we close as we officially close our season out guys this has been a great ride top of the fourth quarter here for Collins and Newton Georgia football Collins looking like they're going to go home with this one. They're going to head back to Georgia with a national championship. So it was story written. It was it was it was made like this. Newton took home the Georgia State Championship. Collins sacrificed Nell, their first L, I believe that was at the time, or their second. Yeah, their second because Modern Day caught him slipping. And then uh, they sacrificed the state for a natty. <laughs> we had those conversations many times. Uh, we just threw it in the atmosphere, in the, in the universe. Sacrifice the state for a natty has been the thing. So 
it, it looked like it panned out. You know, they, they, they got the natty. It's not in their hands just yet, but for my graphic guys, I'm talking to you now. Let's get ready. <laughs> I need you guys in the lab. Let's start getting ready. We see what's going on here. We see the vibes. Let's get right. say this though that man Zeke Moore is putting his body on the line today he is giving it his all he is giving it his all 11 receptions 84 yards he's being worked <laughs> he is definitely out here trying his best to get this team a win oh Jaden Clark with the knockdown Wow, so shout out to Georgia teams this year. Newton with the champ with the state chip. Collins with the natty. Gonna, gonna write their names in the record books here at the PFL as the second official national champions. As Cartier throws it away on the fourth. And that's just how it goes. Once Collins' defense gets the best of you and they, they got you in the chokehold where they need you, <laughs> they got you in the hole. There's nothing you can do. And Newton's been looking downhill ever since. Here comes KC coming back out onto the field trying to close this ball game up. I don't see why Deuce won't get a lot of touches to close this game. He should be having a field day out here for the rest of this game. Let's see how they play it. You can see some dynamic running here from star running back Deuce Willis, number one running back in the nation putting on a show here in his final high school game. Deuce with the handoff, taken down by Zeke Moore. 101 yards on the ground, just 11 rushes. That's what you call elite. 11 rushes for 101 big time games. Stopping. JoJo now up to 93 yards receiving. The seniors are just having a day. JoJo, Deuce, KC all locked in tonight. You can tell the seniors really wanted this before they headed off to college. They really wanted a natty under their belt. They're doing everything to attain that, to obtain that. Even Zay Harris forced fumble. Even uh, Princeton picked six. So all the seniors stepped up and made plays today. today. That's what you love to see from your senior players. It's going to be very interesting to see how this Collins team bounces back next season. It could be the, one of the greater fall-offs from season to season. But that's yet to be seen. Maybe them winning a natty will draw some attention in the apps, which I'm sure it has already. Just them being a top team all year and people seeing their name on top. I haven't checked all the apps, but we're up to about 205 apps uh, coming from 81 last season. So I don't have my work cut out for me, so you gotta be patient. We're gonna take some time off after this natty. Gotta get in the lab, gotta get in the sweatshop. <laughs> I'm gonna be on live pretty much for a couple of weeks just making players and getting the college season ready, but you know, we're gonna have a lot going on. But I'm gonna take some game time off, so we won't see any games for quite some time. So this will be the last time. but. In the meantime, we'll have a few podcasts going, working on that as well. Got a couple of announcements. So just stick around for uh, after this game. Got a few things to talk about. And just 
Oh, trying to go to JoJo for a Teddy. get that, <laughs> that elite snag over the top right like down the middle he always gets that that's a nice play of theirs that they always run where he just comes right around the middle catches that ball holds on to it these guys got to keep fighting they can't just lay down put 20 on this one Cartier 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 will make Oh my! Wanna get a we wanna get a face mask. Travis Irvin not playing nice. Trying to trying to really pack these boys up, huh? Send them send them away. Again guys, stick around for after the game. You know we're doing some post-game live talking. I'm gonna be bringing in some some of your favorite players from around the league. You know, some of uh, some guys from the winning team, some guys from the losing team, just a couple of community guys talk about what we got in store and, you know, just recap the season a bit. You know, we'll also probably have a, a podcast coming soon to, to officially recap the season. But uh, just for now, you know, we'll, we'll take about a good 10 to 15 minutes to kind of talk to you guys, especially you guys as a viewing or a new, you know, if you need any information. So... Stick around at the game. I could hit two now. But don't forget, PB, he, he be having 10 tackles and stuff like that. Like, I remember he's been on a couple of covers, front covers, uh, you know, with 10, 12 tackles and, and a pick or two. So. Here's Cartier using those legs. Very loud meeting in the doghouse. Third and four, or on the 12. And Newton trying to get 
Like I said, it would be nice if Newton could put up 20 plus to save a little face. 41-14 just is crazy. But you know what, Collins, they 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 owed them something. You know, they owed them they owed them a blowout in return for the 47-29 ball. Straps. Zeke Moore not able to convert there. Boy might not see the floor, I mean the field again, depending on how Collins treats this drive, they might run it. But due to an onside kick, I'm pretty sure Collins, the way their offense has been flowing today, uh, you know, these boys might go ahead and get a touchdown really quick. But, you know, I'm for the players, I'm for the culture. My boy's been adamant about getting in the ball game here, so we're going to give him a shot. It's a championship. my guy Landry in. Like I said, not sure if they're going to see the ball again, but judging about how close they are and the type of work Collins has been doing, pretty sure he might get a couple of snaps in there. Deuce trying to burn that time. 107 yards rushing here for Deuce Willis, number one running back in the country. Third and eight for the Eagles. Newton playing some great defense here. Sergio Moreno, just like I said, they could run the rest of this clock out potentially. Moreno up to 72 yards, a sneaky 72 yards. So he's challenging Zeke Moore here. Just a, uh, maybe tight end, three, four, you know, wherever he places on your list. But the sophomore stepped up. Everybody stepped up for the Eagles today. Everybody stepped up. Sergio with 70 plus. Deuce with 100 plus. JoJo with 90 plus. Everybody did their job. The, the, the corners were picking stuff and forcing fumbles. The middle linebacker was hitting. And a beautiful night for Colin. Do straight up the middle. Picking up some nice gains here. Down to the 18. Second and one for this Eagles ball club. They can feel it. They can smell it. They can feel that championship. Again, Sergio Moreno, another first down, 75 yards for number 85. KC is in a pocket too, pretty locked in. Another hand, oh, 
handoff, fakes the handoff, he's gonna roll out. Casey gets it to his man and he stays in bound. Jay Landry and Davon Wendy's on the takedown and that clock's running. As I stated, this team's very good at running the ball and running clock. They've been playing great defense and running clock all year. is about to begin for Collins Hill. We've been seeing him dominate all season long. It was time to put the money, put their money where their mouth is. KC, gonna give it another go here. Deuce up the middle, taking down by Zeke Moore and Dale Rock. 119 yards for Dre or Deuce as it in the game on 119 as the clock ticks. Shout out to Trey. Jones in the building, a new high school season three submit. Collins closes it out on the kick, and that'll do it, folks. Season two in the books. Collins, heel, Eagles out of Georgia are your national champions. Let me get GG's in the chat. Congratulations, fellas. Congrats, Collins. KC Robinson leading his team to a natty. Congratulations are in order for the Eagles. What a game, 44 to 17 is your final. Casey Robinson last time on a high school field taking the W for the win. Again, much love to everybody here. I appreciate everybody tuning in. We are gonna stick around here for some post game interviewing, some post game talks. Guys, just stick with us in the chat here. Um, we're going to talk about a few things. If you guys have any live questions, you know, now would be the time to get that going, you know. So we're going to get some guys on the horn here. I'm going to bring some guys in live as we as we talk about this ball game here that we had today, this national championship between Colin Teal and Newton. We got on the line. If you guys have a lot going on in your background, just keep your joint mute, muted. But if you guys have a solid background and you're and you're able to talk, um, and be be uh active here right now, then please come in. But um, we got Casey Robinson, the quarterback from the winning team, national championship in the building, <laughs> and we got uh JoJo Ekene, star receiver for Collins in the building, and we also have Zay Harris, star corner in the building from Collins. So three Collins seniors are in the building, in the booth right now. And we also just got Dale Watt coming in. He's on the opposing team. Junior uh, safety over there. Uh, took a tough, tough L today, but got a lot of top-notch guys in the building that we just seen on display. Shout out to you guys, man. How you guys feel about that game? We are live, uh, one at a time. Great, boy. I'm feeling great. <laughs> Thank you, bro. National champ. Rock came from St. Joseph. I had game. nothing. That was the game, Casey. That was the game. So let me, the worst QB let me see. In the the let me see. Let me, uh, how, how do you, KC, let's talk to you first, man. Big, big night. 
Uh, you're a national champion, man. We're looking at you, 121.1, 21 for 28. You were you were very efficient out there hey, today. Uh, man, 220 yards. Yeah, we hear you. 220 yards, 75% completion, two touchdowns, no picks, a 54, 55, or sorry, 54 yarder, and uh, just really slinging the pig, man. You had that one good run there for 33 yards. Uh, talk about talk about your night a little bit, man. How you feel uh, being a national man. champion? Man, I feel good, man. St. Francis, I was the worst QB in the nation. Now I get to be the best QB in the nation? Come on. And shout out to my boy JoJo for making them tough catches and a quick pay playbook change at the, uh, before the game. So yeah, y'all were, really were a little scared. Y'all were a little scared about that at first. <laughs> yeah, man, man, at first, but once you start throwing them dots, I was like, yeah, JoJo. JoJo yeah. made the right it was a beautiful play. Uh, you guys executed it to a T, man. I mean, Sergio Moreno, yeah, like you say yourself, you were locked in. Uh, JoJo was locked in. Deuce was even able to get loose. Uh, like I said, that might be the new juice, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. but uh, it's it's just been uh, it was a nice year for you guys. I like how y'all held y'all composure all season. You took a couple of L's, but let me talk to. Is I don't know if Zay Harris is in the building, but man, CB1 forced a fumble there. Really game changing momentum moment there. Uh, let's talk about that defense that you guys have been bringing all year. We got Princeton Butler in here, too. So PB and Zay, both in the chat, uh, both seniors headed off to USC. How you guys feeling, man? I don't, I don't know if we can. I see him on, but I don't know if they. We'll, 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 Zay, hi, we'll highlight their players here. We got, I don't know if Zay on. I don't know if Zay's on. All right, well, we got. Well, we're going to just highlight it a bit. Here's Princeton. So Princeton in the chat, he's got nine tackles for today with an interception so like i said just and he also has a touchdown right that interception was a pick six so he took it to the crib for 58 yards just an incredible lockdown defender i call him the prince of picks you know what i'm saying he's just he's a menace um don't don't sleep on young travis Irvin, freshman put a lot of work in today nine tackles for attack and a tackle for a loss shout out to eric lyle we know he's uh one of the best cpu guys 13 tackles tackle for a loss really tough guy jay harris Three tackles, like you said, doesn't get targeted often. Just three tackles, but he had a big time force fumble that was uh, ran back for a touchdown. So he definitely makes the big plays. JoJo makes big plays as well. Wasn't too active tonight on the defensive end, but he got his uh, he got his work done on the offensive side. And at the end of the day, that's that's what he's more uh, worried about. That's all that about. matters. Yeah, that's what he's more worried about anyway. But you know, sometimes when when his wide receiver is not working, as you see last game, he comes away with a, a end zone pick. And cause game, so he he definitely knows his player knows for some reason like when it is when it when to turn it up on which side of the ball. And tonight he was called on offense. Jojo, how you feeling, man? Your national champion. Oh man, so you know if y'all don't know, um, I've been on Collins for like a while. You know, um, each season came up come up short. Uh, last season was like disappointing because we started off strong. And then we just we just folded in the end, and then we we were uh, bounced out by Matter Day. Uh, that was a tough one. That was a tough <laughs> one. Um, shout out to so, Keyshawn Fisher though, K Fish. <laughs> yeah, K Fish. Shout out to him. Um, but look though, um, honestly, I feel like Collins Hill deserved it. Like we we deserved we deserved this win. Even from last year, we was we was so high, we were so big on you know you know we might win it all this season. This is gonna be our year. Um, for even first game of the season, you know, they was like, "Oh, we going against Chandler." I was like, "Nah, man, we do y'all not know we, we Collins Hill. We finna, we finna dog Chandler." And what happened? We end up dogging Chandler. So, um, ever since like I've I've always believed in this team. We won. So, um, you know, I I feel good about this win. I feel good. Uh, Collins Hill deserved this. Deserved this win. Even after the season, after the season we've had, we deserved it. So, no, nah, no. Hey, well said, man. Hey, JoJo Ekene, guys. Senior wide receiver, as you see his body of work today. Four receptions for 93 yards. Big time. He opened this game up early with an early uh, touchdown. It was a, what was a 54-yarder. He broke the uh, broke a tackle. for. He hit a juke move on a guy. Took it to the crib. That really set the tone for this game. Um, so really great, really great career, man. Like you said, you've been at Collins for a couple of years, a few years now. And, um... And just to, to end your career on a natty, that's just fitting. And on your way to Bama, roll tight, man. C congrats. Yeah, and, uh, 
Uh, we wish you the best over there at Bama next season. Um, hopefully, you can we can see more of the same from you, man. More of the same. Yeah, it's, I like you know. I like, same I like for you, Casey, over at Ole Miss. Same for you. I like. I yes, like sir. to shout out my agent, man. Shout out to my agent, uh, AB, man. Shout out to my shout agent. Shout out to AB um, Sports out there. I see signs. Yeah, shout, shout out to my agent, Kevin Coleman, man. Kevin Coleman. We got some agents out here, man. We got some agents. Hey, AB. Some guys, AB. Um, shout out to uh, Deuce Willis. 18 attempts for 119 yards. A tutty. He came to play today. Six yards a carry. So he was mobile. 64-yard gain there. Big, big run there for him. Uh, really active. Sergio Moreno, sophomore guy, 75 yards, did his part today. A lot of guys came to play, as you've seen the defense a bit earlier. Really got to cooking out there. And um, I'm really excited to see a lot of these guys' career moving forward. Again, you know, Princeton and Zay headed to USC. JoJo to Alabama. We got Travis Irving from this team. Travis Irving and I believe Trey Marcus are the only returning uh, user players that you guys are familiar with here on this roster so other than those two oh and Sergio Moreno so Sergio Travis and Mark and Trey uh, they have the wide outs covered they'll be moving up Trey and Travis to a, a more important wide receiver role after Jojo leaves and Sergio will continue to do what he does so really going to be interesting to see how this defending champion team bounces back I'm sure once people watch this and see their circumstances apps will be flying in for these guys <laughs> uh the national champions as they do look to come back and bounce back they're, go they're gonna be down a quarterback they're losing the number one quarterback in the nation that's a huge hold uh feel uh you know deuce willis another huge gap you gotta feel there uh number one running back so you're losing the number one running back the number one uh quarterback in the nation two gaps you gotta feel there two big time you're losing a top tier receiver you gotta feel that gap as well your your other two young guys are very capable so that's going to be a good tandem right there. But you need a third receiver there. You got Sergio. And de defensively, oh, man, let's not even go there. You're going to have to replace Eric Lyle. That's a strong middle linebacker there. P, B, and Zay. Those are two of the two lockdown, one and two corners. Um, again, free, uh, strong safety. JoJo's going to be out of there. But you're going to get Travis back. He's going to be better than ever. Uh, back and better. <laughs> and uh, so a lot of, lot of gaps to fill here for this college team. But... It's a lot of players coming into this community, a lot of players signing up, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what this team does coming in. They're going to have a lot of room for new players and new talent, so that's going to be the fun part for this Collins team. Let's move over to Newton. Uh, man, tough team, uh, tough year, uh, very impressive year. It started off hot, started off hot, and then they sort of kind of, you know, fell a bit there as the season progressed, and then towards the end, they picked it back up until they fell short here tonight as we see Cartier Wobe, also JoJo, <laughs> his second player, um, but I guess he could put his Cartier hat on right now. Uh, Cartier, tough loss, junior quarterback. You will be coming back next season. Not sure if you're coming back to uh, Newton will be Langston Hughes officially next season, so I'm not sure about that, but I'm sure you, you have had your talks and, and stuff. But, you know, not a bad night, two picks early. Was able to, you know, maybe kind of crawl back into this game a little early there. You had a chance. Talk about a little bit how how, how things just kind of uh, fold, folded for you guys. It unfolded, you know, just kind of went downhill. Uh, shoot, man. Uh, you know, uh, Collins Hill always had a good defense. So it was, it was always going to be tough. Um, I didn't expect for them to win in this fashion. But uh, obviously the playbook change helped them. Um, but also – they score points on defense. So, um, wide receivers was catching the ball. Obviously, QB was um wasn't making the right, wasn't making the best of decisions. But in the end, um, uh, I feel like uh, what killed this team was was turnover, early turnovers, and um, in early mistakes, uh, not taking care of the ball. And but honestly, I can't even be mad because Newen had a hell of a season. They, we, they came back. We came back from, uh, you know, from what a three-game losing streak, four-game losing streak, and end up having a what five or six-game winning streak out right afterwards. Right. So, um, you know, obviously, you know, it's a tough, tough way to go out. But honestly, the sky's the limit for Newton. 
uh, or for for uh, what's going to be like the views. So and Cartier, Cartier is going to be a um, Cartier is going to be a senior, so he's going to be on senior senior stats or senior um, base attributes yeah. and stuff. So mm-hmm. he's going to have his work cut out, but he's also he's also going to come in maybe with a chip on his shoulders and, and, and he might have a, a new a new look. He might. You got to think he's losing his star running back. So he's not yep. either he's going to have to run it a little more next season or he's going to have to replace that replace that. So guys that's listening, Newton's going to be looking for their next running back. So you might want to start, you know, kind of looking into that. Uh, I will be releasing a list of needs or people that are leaving so guys are kind of familiar with what's going on in the league. But Zeke Moore, hell of a game. You will have Zeke Moore back as a senior. So he's going to be a big time target for you as if he's not already 11 11 receptions. So this is one of your this is your guy right here. But, um, you know, you're going to get Davon Wendy's back. And you're going to get Sebastian. So, you you know, and Kyrie. So, you know what? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know about the transferring situations. But if we're just looking off of on paper right now, today, you're going to have two young receivers or three young re- three two young receivers coming back, a sophomore and a freshman. And then you got a junior coming back. And then you got a, a senior tight end coming back. So, the offense should be high powered. You still got your tandem back there in the in the, in the, the secondary position. Your safeties, uh, Davon's a corner as well. So you're not now that I look at this. You, I mean, you're losing Kobe. You're not losing too much. Jay Landry. I heard he might be transferring, but you know, like I said, I'm just gonna go off of what's here. Uh, you're not losing much. You're really just elevating. Your all the players are are pretty much elevating here. So. I don't know. What's what's is Dell Walk in here? Can we get some words from Dell Walk? That's one of the toughest defenders that I've seen in the league. I don't know if he's still present here, but uh, he's here. Yeah. Just an amazing player. Uh, yeah, I, 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 deal, I definitely want to see what he does next season. I've been hearing some rumblings, but I hope Yo. you know, I hope these guys are able to stay and make a and, and run it back. I really think this Newton team is special, and I think. I don't know. I just really got good good energy about these guys. And if they can stick together and they can come back next year much improved, these guys might be making some noise. But shout out to Dell Walk. Is, is, we got Dell Walk here. Delhi. Yo. Yo, so talk to us about this this tough loss t- today, man. This national championship loss. Yeah, that was like, they came out and they played better today. I can see. But you you, you you won the state championship against them. What, what was different? What changed? They got smashed for the state championship, though. But they came out in the natty and took it, huh? Man, and shut up in blowout fashion. That that was, you know, you got to look at the defense and you got to say, but then again, their college defense did their thing. But again, offensively, Collins did eat. Like Deuce, hey, did you, was, like Deuce did you like Deuce did you Deuce did you wrong on that play? Deuce did you wrong? He did you wrong. Zeke, did you check that out, Zeke? Did you check that out, Zeke? What's that? Dell dropped a diss before the game. <laughs> okay. I didn't even drop it on you. That was on your he dropped the diss before the game. The game. <laughs> my name That's in. hilarious. I know how the diss is be floating movie. around in the PFL. You, you it's not it it's not this, rare to find a diss track. <laughs> Destroyed, man. We got a few hey, artists bro. in here, but yeah, hey, man. Bro. Shout out to this Newton team. Like okay. I said, going to be Langston Hughes mm-hmm. next season. Uh, hey. Just a really tough team. Mm-hmm. They got to bounce back. You got, you got. Like I said, Precious Hall headed off to Ole Miss next season, and you got Kobe Lewis headed to LSU. Other than that, all of their guys are coming back full throttle. So we're going to see how that plays out. But that will do it. 44-17 Eagles. Collins Hill are, is our Season 2 National Champions. We will be getting some uh, content up shortly about that soon. Uh, moving forward here, what's on our schedule moving forward is we got two All-American games coming up. I want you guys to tune into that. That's going to be going on this week coming up. Or I should say next week. And um, and it's going to be a, a all a all classes all-american game which will feature all of the best players in the nation just based off stats and, and all, all sorts of things and then there's going to be a senior all-american game where just the top seniors in the nation go at it and uh for their final game we're gonna get some guys on live talking about their commitments uh you know we're gonna get we're gonna i'm gonna try to have a podcast running at the same time some sort of podcast I'll talk to dj pollard about it where we can have guys coming on 
and uh, talking during uh, the actual stream and actual game and you guys able to like tune in and kind of see their reactions where they're going and and all that good stuff so make sure you guys keep tuning in on instagram at prime fb league the apps are going to open i'm going to leave the apps open for a bit here at, as we are at the end of the season so i'm gonna just take in a whole bunch more i haven't started yet so i might as well just let them rack up some more uh get those apps in i'm gonna put out a couple of graphics put out some listings here of teams and positions of need and and uh current rosters and as i add people to the discord come in fill out all your good stuff that you need um i'll ask my guys my veterans in the league to help help assist guys to where they need to go once they enter the discord get them going right and um that way it could be a smooth transition i can make these players and get ready for this next season um after this like i said we'll be doing the two all-american games we're going to take a little time off i need a little breather i ain't gonna lie we've been going strong <laughs> for like six months strong straight so uh we're gonna take a little second here to gather our things get some stats in order I'm gonna get with my graphic team we're gonna we got a lot of work cut out for us so we're gonna have to load up on graphics want to get ahead of things um we also got i'm gonna be going live in a discord so if you're in a discord you're gonna get a chance to see me creating high school season three players live i'm gonna be doing that um just during the week just all week uh when you know you know i'm, I'm normally on the pc doing things on wednesdays starting wednesdays to about sunday so those are going to be the days you're going to be seeing me tuned in on Discord. You can, you can just come in, check it out, see see me creating some high school three players. I'm going to also be doing some season one college guys uh, ratings and stuff. Still got to make some prime players and some CPU players for the college series. But, you know, that's why we're taking this break, just so I can kind of make them at my own pace and not have to worry about any games being played. So though, that's what's going to be on the, uh, on the schedule here moving forward. We also, in the midst of all of that, the transfer portal is going to be opening up so once the transfer portal open portal opens up people will be able to fill out on discord where they well where they would like to go next season um I, I would assume that you already talked and checked in with people that are on that team and you kind of know your positions because if you get there you can only transfer once i'm not letting you transfer twice and three times like these dudes be doing you transfer one time and that's your team so if you get over there and there's somebody that got a spot that's yours and you don't win it you got to either figure it out. You got to find a new team, a new space, a new spot, or you got to just thug it out. Or, you know what? I even might open up the 2A for you. So you can't, if you want to go to a 2A team and get featured in Discord every now and then, but you can still get your stats, you can still get your content, that'll be an option. But as far as 3A teams, you if you transfer and you don't win out the spot, you either need to change positions or you got to just ride the bench and just be a team supporter <laughs> i mean that's what they do right that's that's what's going on that's how they rocking so um i seen draco Sutton do it now he's getting a chance to shine next season for img it's starting running back he sat out the whole year so um you know it's going to be interesting with a lot of apps coming in it could be cause for me to add a couple more teams um that's not official but i'm just looking at these apps dude and it's tough so um but we're gonna have a, a max of 10 10 to 12 players per roster 10 skilled players really and then like if you need to if you find someone that's interested in just adding a lineman or a, a valuable position like a kicker or, or something like that doesn't truly stand out um well we hope you stand out that would be dope to have like a crazy dope defensive tackle or a lineman or something but just little positions like that i'll let you go over the max that's when you can get 11 12 users but for the most part we're going 10 users strong skilled positions and uh, we'll work our way from there once i fill up every team if, if there's still a lot of players left over, I'm going to start opening up that the team <laughs> that team uh, selection and, and I'll start bringing some teams in. But uh, I just I love the growth. I, I love the support. We up to 430 subscribers or 31 on, on YouTube. We got a nice turnout today at the Natties. Shout out to Newton. Shout out to Collins. Um, we also have uh, I also want to touch on. So after the portal. We're gonna. I'm gonna have a a, a a window where guys are going to be able to. I want to call it a uh, a growth transition or growth period for guys that are in high school. So this is where you're gonna send me in your official updated height and weight and jersey numbers. So if you need any jersey number changes in high school, this is that'll be the time to do that. If you need to change your height, your weight, we're gonna talk about it. Obviously, each situation is gonna be different. Don't compare your situation to someone else's. Uh, don't compare your position to someone else's we have a chart now i'm going to put out i already put out a few positions of 
max height and weight for each position but i think i need to add a few more positions there and uh so yeah if you need to send in a height change and weight change there's going to be a window for that as well so stay tuned for that as well and um i don't know if anybody else here is, is live and they want to chime in and say anything after this oh, yeah. high school season two but it's been oh yeah a great i guess year. Say, man hey go ahead step in who's that coach is that listen. coach tie on for for texas yes sir listen listen i just want everybody to know man listen pfl listen you know what i'm saying texas they win it all and you know my qb carson young man he finna be the next great uh qb of the pfl he okay. winning everything on everything okay speak it out there then speak it out there so Car so who, who, who are we looking for carson young yes sir oh yeah and also christian ross you feel me Whoa. little bro Shout out to christian ross. He, finna, he finna go crazy with this new team you know okay. what i'm saying confidential you okay. know what i'm saying but don't don't let his uh his 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 first round failures you know what i'm saying paint a picture on him man he coming back stronger next year man on everything no nah, i like that i like that i like that i mean hey, i can't like look I out said. for my little brother go ahead go ahead look out for my little brother kane you know it's oh, yeah, Kane. Out right here. I gotta see Kane, Kane, Kane and uh, Robinson. Chris Ross, man. Okay, Kane I came Robinson. From, I came from I came from Francis, man. With nothing. Yeah. KC, I, nice. I the transfer portal worked out for you, bro. You and yeah. uh you and Moreno. Hey, and ultimately it worked out for Collins. They got in two top tier players and then ended up winning the natty. You know, you guys were the missing pieces. They they got bounced early last year. They were a little upset. They had a lot of talent. And Casey, Sergio Moreno came in, and you guys turned it up here, and, and y'all made it special, and y'all got the job done. So shout out to you guys, for real. Also, also Kane Robertson and Christian Ross, they they uh they coming in together next year, so watch okay. out for them boys, man. Kane Robertson, Christian Ross, we're gonna be looking out for those guys. Um, but in the meantime, man, and like I said, we're just moving forward. You guys stick around because right now, this is like I said, this is gonna be the last time you're gonna see us here on YouTube with the game uh, for quite some time. We will be back with a podcast, our first official podcast. I also do want to point out one more thing before we get out of here. Um, give me one second here. Definitely want to point something out that uh, we that I kind of brought. I want to bring to the league's attention as a whole and even the guys that are watching that are looking to join or if you're in here. So moving forward, I'm already... You know, I'm always thinking ahead, and I just want to take this time to let you guys know that we do have our first official PFL Pro team, which is the PFL Giants. So the PFL New York Giants are our first official pro team, which is being coached by Coach Mula. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Coach Mula, but he has a pretty nice Mula. resume pretty dope resume i don't want to talk about his previous situation or where he came from if you know you know um but we really brought this guy in because he's a good community guy i've seen him in action um you know everybody has their down times their up times you know and um i just believe this guy's great content wise he's like he he embodies everything that i like as far as an active user you know an active member in, in, a, in a sim league um you know he's running an excellent basketball league sba uh, that he's over there running just top tier content, top tier uh, league uh, members. Just just a great community over there at SBA. Shout out to those guys. They are running. A, they just finished up college. They're headed over to overseas. They're going to bring in a high school series as well that I'm involved in myself. So I just want to plug SBA for sure. They're they're definitely good over here. Um, but Mula, I've seen him in another uh, league. And uh, again, just don't want to talk about it much, but just ran an excellent team. Uh, excellent content um, just a very consistent guy and strong guy to have in this in the PFL so he's going to be kicking off the pros with the, our first team the Giants um, they're going to have a tab in discord I haven't even told him this but I'm going to give him a tab in discord where you guys are going to be able to follow the Giants first season so the Giants first season is going to be taking place while our college season is going and our high school season three is taking place so the Giants will be getting a year up, and you guys will be able to, you, you, you top prospects coming in. Uh, Mula is going to be serving as a, uh, our first official pro scout team. So he'll be scouting you college guys for the first time. Like, you guys will be able to get to follow 
our first pro team's career. You know, he's going to have generic guys over there building storylines. You guys are going to be looking to battle it out with some of these guys before you get there. So it's just adding a certain dynamic and it's setting a certain story and tone for the pros before you guys even get to the pros. That way, all the high school guys and college guys that are going to pros are going to be going into some history already. Going and play against some guys, some CPU guys that are already established. You're going to have the Giants already on the board ready to call somebody's name. You're going to be familiar with the coach already. And he's going to also set the standard for the future coaches that come in and uh, pro coaches because I want, I'm, I'm being very selective with my pro coaches. I want everybody to be active, heavy content-based, uh, really, really knowledgeable of the game and of, and of the players that are in the league. Have some knowledge on the players that are in the league, and we, and, uh, we got to be competitors, you know. Yeah, and you got to be competitors. Want we want competitors, like you know. That's, we want. Go yeah. ahead. I was gonna say I like coaches that has that carries that winning mindset, but also like can, that also likes to compete. You know, I don't yeah. like these. I don't like soft coaches. You know, I don't oh, like. You the, know, we don't do that here. We 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 let. Like, nah, you know. <laughs> we don't do that here. Coaches. It'd be some coaches that's okay with being mediocre. Yeah, you know, true, and true. I'm not right. I don't like that because I can imagine me being on a team like that. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's always know. nice to have that coach that's really taking it serious. Like, you know, you really feel like right. you got to. And that's why I'm trying to set that standard because there's no point in having coaches if we're not even, you know, if they're not going to take it serious. You might as well just have right. players. So that's why I'm, right. I'm excited for this crop of college coaches. I think we got a good crop. They all been pretty active. Shout out to Coach Tyon in here right now, Coach Ronnie Jewell. Uh, really good guys, yeah. uh, Casey, King Robinson, um, uh, Kai, Coach Kai, Clemson. Like it's a lot of. I think we got some guys. You know, we got some guys that we building up, um, and they did really good in the recruiting circuit. Sean Parker, for what it's worth, you can say what you want, but psh, the boy reeled in like five or six guys off the rip. So, um, well, that's the, that's the coach for uh, USC, right? Yeah, yeah, coach for USC. I, um, I took the yeah. so, approach for. You know, he was going, he, you know, he recruited, he, um, offered too. But, yeah, he um, was a really good, I, I was, I would say he's a really good recruiter. You know, um, a lot yeah. of his guys was in their feelings. Um, I don't really think it's his fault, uh, that part of it, but, um, you know, he landed the talent and he, he's, he's still here. He's active. So we got a good crop of college guys. I just want him to kind of follow the mode of, of Coach Moolah because, like I said, I know what he could do. And I've seen him in action and I've seen his pages and I've seen how he get down and, and that's the standard. So he's got his page up already. It's the PFL Giants. Uh, if you want to plug that in on the comments, Mula. And uh, I want you guys to go follow that page. Get well acquainted. Oh, that's our is, first... Mula, is Coach Mula in here? Is he in the Discord? You should put him. I don't know if he's. I, I was going to add him, but I don't know if he was like. If he was available. I see him in the chat. Hold on. Yeah, that's my guy, man. I. I... But yeah, I'll, I'll get him in here so he could kind of talk yeah. more too about what me and him yeah. talked about. You know. That's. He's, because, that's uh, that. That's if anybody you know, if anybody wants to follow the mode of being a coach, look after Mula. Watch after Mula. You know what I'm saying? Watch yeah. how he, watch uh -huh. how he does this stuff. You feel yo, me? Yo, yo, yo! Very got, great coach. We got uh, Jesus, Coach Mula in the building, or, or what? What we got? Yeah, yeah this Coach Mula yeah. in the building. You know how we are, man. Hey, so look, man. So I just wanted to bring you on because I. You know, I didn't. I didn't feel like typing everything. I'ma still put a message out, but I figure it's best to just deliver the message while we at the natty here. We got people tuned in, so um, go ahead and just kind of introduce yourself to the community. A lot of people know who you are, uh, but just go ahead and also plug that Instagram too, and tell everybody just about the Giants and kind of things we discussed and just the future of what holds for this idea that we got here. Copy, copy. So I just want to start by saying appreciate y'all for having me. Appreciate you, uh, Kamish. Definitely, I love what y'all doing here. Shout out to the whole community. Shout out to all the high school guys, all the um, seniors who committed. You know, y'all got a special thing going, and y'all just gotta um, keep it going and stay locked in. So um, I'm definitely happy to be a part of this and getting working with this pro series. Uh, you can follow the Instagram right now at Coach Moolah, uh, dot PFL. Uh, um, yeah, for the first season. Um, that what we had in mind was maybe like uh, you having you guys follow the season of generic players, you know, introducing you guys to some of the pros on our team as well as some of the standout players on other teams that we could have follow suit as like the prime generic players. And um, when the commissioner gave me that idea, I thought it would be fire because it would just definitely set the standard for just how, you know, 
how we envision the pros or how he envisions the pros, you know. And then me as a coach, you know, I'm going to come competitive. I'm going to come with the content. I'm going to come consistent. I'm coming with podcasts. I will be watching. Um, yeah, I was about to say, give him, give him that. Uh, <laughs> graphics. Yeah, drop, yeah, drop, I'm drop doing that info on them. That boy coming stuff. with that podcast, boy. Ooh, yeah, wee. I'm coming with that podcast. Yeah, I'm setting the tone. You know how we do, bro. So, like, I'm setting the tone. I'm definitely going to start that podcast up. I'm going to give a weekly, you know, review. And he's going to be talking group. about them. Hey, I'm players happy. out there, he's going to yeah. be giving that analysis very detailed. I've seen him in action. And when he's really locked definitely. in. So you players out there, get get your Definitely. you got your work cut out. <laughs> and, and, and I'm telling y'all, man, like um, don't take you know don't take what I'm saying to the heart and don't you know get angry because I know sometimes that's you know just how it gets in sports. We believe in our players, our teams. It's just my opinion on things, you know. Um, I'm new to the league, so it's fun for me as well to to really sit back and scout you guys, watch what's going on. I love simulation. I'm a lab rat, so it's gonna be fun watching you guys story unfold and um. You know, giving you my perspective on it. Like I said, don't take my opinions to heart. You know what I'm saying? Um, just put in the work and grow on me. Like maybe if I don't see, you know, what's up with you early on, show me down the line with your content, with your storyline, why I should be looking at you or why I should be paying attention. Because the Giants is coming. We coming. Like you feel me? We coming. We not taking. Our coach is gonna be the best. Our my assistant coach is gonna be crazy. Like I'm like just follow the page, Coach Mula. You feel me? Dot PFL on Instagram. And y'all going to see what's up, bro. I'm going to have a star-studded coaching staff for one. And we setting the trend. We doing something that you've never seen in simulation. I didn't even tell a commissioner about this. But just know we're going to have some popular names as as a coaching staff. You know what I'm saying? As a coaching staff. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to give up too much. But just know we're going to have a crazy star-studded coaching staff. The, the podcast is going to be lit. Um, I'm, I'm, doing, uh, I'm doing something different, man. We're going to do something different here in the PFL for... But just like something you've never seen before, trust me, guys. So um, you definitely want to get in tune. I'm gonna drop the uh, Instagram below so y'all can follow. But appreciate you guys for having me, bro. And let's get to it. We coming. The Giants is coming. So. They coming. They, they like Make Coach. Sure they like Coach Prime. They coming, man. You know. Yeah, we coming. You gotta watch trust these me. guys, man. So like, that's just kind of like what I wanted to bring y'all into. Just the merger there with Coach Mula coming Go over see. to the PFL and. And becoming a major factor here, like I said, that that pro, we want to, cause you know we want to have that pro series as the bread and butter. You know we need that pro series as the bread and butter. So we had to bring in uh, somebody that I knew was official, somebody I could trust with setting the tone, and somebody I know that's active, active community member, and just really, you know, I've seen run leagues and stuff, and, and I just felt like he was perfect for this uh, for this moment, and and setting the tone and really giving us a, cause see we're gonna be posting it too. So this is going to be the real PFL Pro Universe, right? So everything that's on that he's setting, the players you see, the opponents, the teams, that's going to all be on my official file once we make the the real PFL. So he's actually setting the file and the, and the tone for, for everything, all the CPU players. So you're going to get a chance to really see the real Pro League happening. And in live time, we're going to have some games. I'm going to post them live, like the big time games for him, like the debut, you know, a uh, certain rookie he may be drafted. We're gonna cover some. We're gonna cover the Giants. We're gonna. It's gonna be a very heavily covered uh, uh, base for the Giants to to uh, show their story. That way, now when we get into the pros, new coaches come along. We bring in new teams. Now you guys are getting drafted by coaches that have kind of been watching you for some time now. So we just all about pro progressing. I'm trying to make sure that we put out the best content and we give the we provide the best league uh, possible to you guys from from high school to, to pros, like, you know, no no shades and no other league. We don't do no shades, but we will be that league that goes uh, successful. You can have a successful co uh, high school to pro career to Hall of Fame. Like, I'm talking the whole nine, you know, freshmen. Well, not freshmen anymore, but junior year of high school to potentially being a pro bowling Hall of Famer in the pros. You understand? So, like, it's this thing is going to be crazy to look back you five years in the pros, you playing for your favorite NFL team, and you like, man, I remember when I was back in Mad 20, I was on the Collins Hill winning the Natty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just gonna be great for for storyline. We just, we just, we're. I feel like we're more than a sim. I tell people like, I want to be more than a sim league. We we a story. We a storyline league. Like we more like the storylines you see with these basketball things. I got some experience with all that stuff. So I said, let's bring that into the football world. Whereas, yes, yeah, a sim, but 
let's story it up some you know let's jazz it up let's yep. let's let's build a let's build a, a, a what do you say like a universe like a marvel universe <laughs> you know what i'm saying like let's build a universe where these guys live in and they play in and and they go from high school to pros and really have real full careers so that's the standard that's what we trying to set here we ain't going nowhere we're just getting started and um like i said make sure y'all follow that page for, for the pros that's going to be first official pfl giants they're the pfl giants uh coach at coach mula m-u-l-a dot pfl make sure you go follow that of course make sure you guys come over to at prime fb league as well um you guys make sure you go ahead and follow as well at sba dot 2k as well those are just a few plugs there that i that i really want you guys to get into um as we continue yep, this, and um this. honestly as some of these um I think we got Sierra Canyon as a team, right? Yeah, Sierra Canyon is officially coming might, in as so, well. So in, so in the SBA, I, have, I think Sierra, I think they have Sierra Canyon as a, a high school team too. So, right, exactly. You know, we might see some. We might so see that's some another, no athletes. We might yeah, see that's a, that's another you thing know? I was going to be bringing in. Uh, I was going to talk to uh, Commissioner Mula more about that, but that's definitely that's another uh, idea I was going to float in um, with the whole dual sport. Uh, we're going to keep it to a to a certain amount, you know, but we are going to have a couple of like schools in the SBA high school because, like I said, I am uh, involved with the SBA. I, I'm, I'm running the high school department for you guys that are interested in, in, in high school basketball. We're, we're about to get started. Um, so if you guys, if we do have a situation where there's a, a high school team in the SBA that is also in the PFL, then it could ma- match up in the same universe if that makes sense. And um, we couldn't make that to a point where you're playing basketball for, like you said, for instance, for Sierra Canyon. And then you're also playing football for uh, Sierra Canyon. So that's always an option as well. And that'll also help with, uh, you know, both universes, you know, just build, bring them together. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's just a lot that we have in store, man. We just, I just appreciate all the support that y'all been giving and, you know, just building a lead from scratch. And finally getting to a point where you feel like, all right, maybe we got something. You know, we get into that point right now. So, you know, we got our second season finished, y'all. Like, we got our second full season finished. It feels good. Um, we're going to go into this off season and do some dirty work. Got to get in that lab, get in the trenches, and just get to work. And then... Um, it's good to be a champion, though. <laughs> yeah, hey. It's crazy, yeah, right? Like, I, shout out to y'all because I, I can only imagine, like, after all the madness, winning, the, winning it all. Like, you know, like, just being able to just be like, oof season over we the champs like you know what i mean like whatever comes next comes next but we the ones so Got out. so that's Go what's up it. man Go ahead. Tom. I'm, I'm ready to look at my my roles and says national champ right <laughs> yeah right also shout there. out to my boy cartier wobe man you know what i'm saying he 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 made it to the big stage you know what i'm saying he didn't come away with the w but he made yeah. it to the big stage, man, and that's 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 a it's, that's a tone for greatness right there. It's, it's gonna be curious. Beauty. It's gonna what be interesting to see team. where he goes to college. Yeah, see, there's Texas. Texas already. I mean, he's a junior. He's able to be be talked to right now. Um, so Cartier, you might have some decisions. You, you might get a little need, offer from Texas. Right now, Texas is the only the only school that's interest, interested. So, you know, I might be rocking out with Texas. Hey, you know man. what? You gotta sometimes you you know you always look at that team. You always got to show that team love that, that looked at you first, you know. Not saying it's a short shot. You still got a whole season to play. But, you know, it's always good to get that yeah. first guy in there and that got that believe in you, you know. But, I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, look at, look at Cardio's season. I don't even think he was regarded as even one of the top QBs to, to being able to compete against, you know, a team like Collins and actually beat Collins once. And still, you know. Yeah, he did get me. You can always say, I beat the champs once that season. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. KC with the, was an underrated QB, and, you know, he proved he proved his worth, man. He, he really yeah, liked it. Talk about KC coming from St. Francis, dog. Like you said, like, one of the worst QBs. He tightened up his passing, got away from the scrambling a little bit, and, 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 and really became a true uh, quarterback. And a national quarterback, a national champion quarterback. Damn, KC. Hey, hey, hey listen, KC and Christian Ross gonna get in that <laughs> lineup, man. Yes, sir. But look, guys, 
This is your boy Zeke Pruitt, man. I want to say thank y'all for an amazing season. Season two couldn't have been even couldn't have been any better. I'm really looking forward to season three. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. I feel like season three is gonna be historic. Wild. Historic. It's gonna be spicy, man. I think it's season gonna three is gonna have so many user players. So many now that they've seen the body of work that we put in, cats is invested. They in. I feel like they want to see. I mean, I feel like it's going to be a lot of user players. It's going to be a lot of competitive football, a lot of games to be played, a lot of new teams. Season three is on the way. It's going to be a, man, it's going to be a classic, a classic. Now the season two guys are in college. They're familiar with the system. So there are second guys they're bringing in. They know how to play the field. They're going to be helping the new guys come in well. Everybody's familiar with the league. We can help each other out. We can get this thing booming. My graphic team is getting better and better. Guys, I'm telling you, high school season three is going to be classic. It's going to be classic. So get your apps in. I'm opening up apps for uh, probably the rest of the week. I'm just keeping them bad boys open. Um, so get your apps in. Tell your friends. Tell whoever you know that want to be in a, league, a, a new sim league out here, football league, from high school to, college, uh, to, to the pros. Let them know. We're going to be doing the college series. Now, remember... We're doing College Series 1. Then we're doubling back to high school and college again. Then pros. So we might not see pros till Madden 24, to be quite frank. It's already January, so might as well just push it to Madden 24 and get that get that new new. So it's about, to, it's, it's about to get crazy out here, fellas. We got a lot of work to do, but we can do it, man. We, we already overcame half the battle we almost have half a half a thousand subscribers on on uh youtube we, we got to get to that 500 mark uh hopefully college series can up it you know i always say a league ain't a league until they got enough a successful college series that's our next that's our next move man you know we we are the high school league we are the high school league can't nobody do that like we do it but now we got to display and we got to deliver a, a, a great college series and then an even greater pro series so that's all I gotta say. I know uh, somebody's. Uh, I know somebody got something to say right now. Who's that? Who was that? Somebody was about to say something. Was that Dale? It was me, gang. It was me, gang. What up? What I was ready to say. I was ready to say just because Langston, um, he was AKA Newton came out and lost the championship. Don't mean we can't bounce back next year. Bro, y'all can 100% bounce back next year if y'all come back with the same returning players. And then add just like two or three pieces, dangerous, dangerous. So y'all better get in that locker room, scrap it out. Maybe take on, make them, maybe take on some head-on fades, scrap that joint out, and get over it because y'all got some dogs. You need some secondary too. Tyree Sims is going along with Zeke Woods. They might be going. Listen, man. Listen. It's listen. You still got time. The transfer portal is not open. It's not open. So talk to your locker room, talk to your people, see what y'all got to do, and, and and let's have a, a crazy season three. I think, they it, might, I think you know, we might have to scrap it out, man. Y'all might have to scrap it out, talk it they over like young men. Here, bro. Talk it over like young 30. men and get back in that lab because this team is special. You know, you came short of a national championship. I would hate to see it break up, but, hey, y'all got to do what y'all got to do for y'all own careers, man. Like, it, it's, it's more to high school. It's more than It's more than just high school. You got college, you got pros. So at the end of the day, do what's best for you. But it's your boy Zeke, man. PFL National Championship Season 2. We crowning the Collins Hill Eagles out of Georgia as the champions. Shout out to Newton for being runner-ups. Better luck next time. We are out of here. Much love to you guys from the booth here in the studio. Shout out to my guy, Joey Badass, Jojo Ekene for joining. Coach Tyon Nickerson over at Texas. Dale Walk from Newton. KC Robinson, QB1 for the Eagles. Coach Moolah, PFL Giants. We out of here. Peace.